Dogs are fluffy, cute, and cuddly. They're good boys. Good doggos. That's why it's so shocking that some of them are actually illegal. Yeah, really. But how can man's best friend be against the law? Let's find out. These are the most illegal dog breeds in the world. Number 15. Pitbull So I'm not even going to list all of the states that Pitbull is banned in. In fact, it's easier to list the states that do not have restrictions on Pitbull ownership. Arizona, Connecticut, Maine, Minnesota, Nebraska, New Hampshire, Oklahoma, and Michigan. <sighs> I'm just kidding about the last one. Owning a pit bull in Michigan probably carries a death penalty or something, but those are the only states where you can have unrestricted ownership of the truly badass dog that is the pit bull. And there is a lot of stigma attached to this breed. Often banning pit bulls, according to a report in the Washington Post, serves as a kind of ban of the pit bull owners, who are sometimes perceived as socially undesirable people. A pit bull is a tough dog, originally bred for fighting, and they certainly require a steady hand along with extensive training. But they are no more dangerous than any other dog. However, if there's a dog bite, people tend to report it as being a pit bull, even if it's a Bichon Frise or something, just because we all like a bad guy and a lot of drama. So the poor pit bull is the most banned and most scapegoated dog in the world. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Mastiff The Mastiff is a group of several dog breeds. They are banned or restricted by cities in Michigan, Washington, and Wisconsin. In fact, one city in Washington state outright bans all Mastiff-type dogs. So if you own one of these massive dogs, avoid Wapido like the plague. Even though they are huge dogs bred for working, they are actually considered to be loyal and friendly. The most famous kind is the English Mastiff, but the breed is older than England itself, dating back some 3,000 years. In that time, they have been used as hunting dogs, war dogs, guard dogs, and for blood sport, such as fighting bulls, bears, and lions. There's no question about the toughness of these breeds, but are they dangerous and violent? That certainly seems not to be the case, and the English Mastiff is usually just a big softie in spite of its tough appearance. They've been through some tough times with the British over the years in particular, and one of the hardest moments in the history of the breed was the Second World War, when breeding was stopped due to meat rationing, which almost led to extinction. Now in spite of bans, they are popular both at home and abroad once more. Not just in Wapato, Washington. Number 13. Siberian Husky These big, fluffy, wolf-like dogs are banned in parts of Iowa, Louisiana, and Michigan. Can you own a Chihuahua in Michigan, or are they banned too? A cat, a goldfish… Anyway, Game of Thrones fans in those states will be disappointed to know that their hopes of owning a dire wolf have been dashed now that the Siberian Husky has been banned. Unfortunately, as is often the case, people who are crazy about TV shows buy puppies as a status symbol more than out of true love for a dog. So a lot of huskies are currently being abandoned or raised in poor condition when the owners decide they like some other show and get bored of their puppy. This means that temperament issues are on the rise, and the reputation of this otherwise noble and incredible breed of dog has been tarnished by irresponsible Netflix-addicted idiots. So the response has been to ban the dogs rather than ban the people. Many insurance companies have fallen for the hysteria and also blacklisted the dogs, meaning that homeowners who also have a husky are affected. But huskies are among the most loyal, hardworking, and patient dogs in the world. They might look like a wolf, but inside your best ever friend is waiting for you. Number 12. Doberman Pinscher 
The Doberman is one of the most popular breeds of dog in the world, but that hasn't stopped a long list of places banning them. Are you ready for this? Georgia, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Michigan, of course, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, North Dakota, Ohio, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Wisconsin. The Doberman Pincher Club of America, who of course oppose these bans, have stated that the Doberman is being scapegoated for political reasons. Basically, when a neighborhood suffers a decline due to financial recession, changing demographics, or increased inequality, the easiest thing to do is to ban a dog breed. Because most people know of some random dude who had an angry dog, then everyone's happy again apparently, except for the Doberman owners and the poor dog themselves. These dogs were first bred by a Mr. Doberman back in 1890 in Germany. They have become popular due to their very high intelligence, loyalty, and amazing guard dog abilities. This is one dog that will protect you with its life, no questions. Number 11. Kyle Brasileiro the File Brasileiro is a Brazilian bred form of a Mastiff that is one of the dogs on this list, which is bred to have a strongly aggressive temperament. They are huge dogs, which have been bred to specialize in tracking, as well as to be a guard dog and in hunting. These tracking dogs are known to be impetuous and unforgiving at times, and this was due to their original role. Nowadays, they are popular as hunting dogs, as they instinctively do not kill their prey, but rather trap it and wait for the hunter to arrive. This is because their original prey was human. These dogs were bred for the era of Brazilian slavery. With exceptional abilities in tracking escaped slaves, it was important that they would remain unforgiving so that the slave couldn't try to befriend a dog and escape. And of course, the slave owners would not want their slave to be killed. These qualities make this quite an unusual dog. And it is banned not only in the US states of Colorado, Kansas, Oregon, Washington, and Wisconsin, but also in the UK. Israel, Denmark, Norway, Malta, and Cyprus. Sometimes called the Brazilian fighting dog, breeders are working hard to rehabilitate the bad dog image of this breed. And when properly trained by experienced dog owners, they can be great pets, even with small children. Number 10. Sharpay the Sharpe is nowhere near the size of the massive File Brasileiro, but this compact dog has nevertheless been banned by cities in Mississippi and Utah. Known to Westerners as the Chinese fighting dog, this is a seriously ancient breed. <laughs> Although its famous wrinkles are a recent addition, they were extremely popular in the Han Dynasty of China, and this pedigree breed was associated with noble, aristocratic traits. Unfortunately, this meant it fell foul of the Chinese Communist Party in the 20th century, and the dog was almost exterminated. But breeders managed to maintain the breed in the British outpost of Hong Kong as well as in Taiwan, and it has once again grown in popularity, especially as China's communists have started to relax a little bit about dog politics. In the US, they are not much better loved, however, with some so-called experts suggesting their aloof personality could turn aggressive. But they are known to be fantastic dogs when well-trained. Number 9. Alaskan Malamute the Alaskan Malamute is a big doggo that you will not be seeing in certain cities like Iowa, Louisiana, and yep, you guessed it, Michigan. Do they think dogs are vampires in Michigan or something? There's no doubt that a Malamute, which is often confused with a Husky, is a dog that requires a lot of work. This is a high-energy working dog, and you better be prepared to be going for walkies a lot more than with a regular dog. These dogs are very smart and like to have both mentally and physically stimulating activities as much as possible. They are also dogs with a strong predator drive, so if a squirrel happens to whiz past the nose of your Malamute, you might have a hard time convincing your dog to ignore it, and do not go pounding into the forest to wreak terror on all the cute woodland creatures there. They love a good car chase too, but these dogs are not aggressive to humans, and bites are known 
to be rare. They are just a little hyperactive. Number 8. Rhodesian Ridgeback Here is another dog that you will have a hard time getting a hold of in Michigan and Wisconsin. The Rhodesian Ridgeback. If I were a cat, I have to say I would pack my bags tomorrow and move to the Midwest. Friendly people, beautiful open spaces, and not a dog to be found anywhere. The Rhodesian Ridgeback is considered by some to be the greatest dog breed in the world. Even-tempered, strong, protective, loyal, and one of the smartest dogs there is. Originating as a cross between European and African dogs in Rhodesia, now known as Zimbabwe. These are strong-willed, confident dogs who were popular with European settlers in Africa. It's certainly not a dog for the inexperienced dog owner, as they kind of like to be the boss, so you always have to make sure they know that they are not the boss. However, things can get tricky, they are also sensitive emotionally for such a tough dog, and they don't respond well to rough training. But with the right doses of TLC and always being in command, you could have one of the best dogs in the world with the Rhodesian Ridgeback. Number 7. Akita. The Akita is banned or restricted in cities in the states of Iowa, Louisiana, Michigan, Tennessee, and Washington. These large Japanese dogs were originally bred as mountain dogs, but there are now two strains, including the American Akita. The bad news for both American and Inu Akitas is there's plenty of places in the US that they're not considered to be welcome, or at best are classified as dangerous dogs. With a cute face like that, really? Anyway, the Mid-Atlantic Akita Rescuer Company says these dogs have a reputation for being aggressive. So, in any encounter with other dogs or uninformed people, whether your dog was the aggressor or not, expect the Akita to be blamed. This means your Akita needs to be muzzled in public at all times. Your home needs a dangerous dog sign, and you have to pay up for some special insurance policy. Sometimes it is obligated to spay or neuter the dog and implant a microchip, which will turn it into some kind of robo-dog like canine. Akitas are considered to have poker faces, and so it's hard to really read their emotional state, which can lead to misunderstandings. And they are huge dogs with earth-shattering barks, so you don't want one to get too upset with you, even if he's not showing it. Number 6. Bull Terrier Here's a dog breed who in the states of Georgia, Washington, and yeah, you know where by now, has become guilty by association. The Bull Terrier. Bull Terriers are known to be almost clown-like in their silly nature. One of the friendliest, cutest dogs of all. These guys are more likely to wag their tails and try and make friends with any intruders on your property, so if you want a guard dog, try elsewhere. And yet, they have found themselves banned in three states purely because they resemble pit bulls. In looks, there's a little similarity, but that's about all. A bull terrier is an excellent choice for families with young children, as their patient, goofy personalities will fit right in. Although they can be stubborn, so plenty of training is needed, studies showed that their personality was closest to that of the Golden Retriever. Imagine banning those. They love to be around people and are a far cry from their fighting distant relatives. So here's one dog that can truly plead not guilty against the crimes it has been charged with. Like so many popular dog breeds, the Bull Terrier originated in England, and their distinctive features are the egg-shaped head and unique triangular eyes. Number 5. Chow Chow Another Chinese dog, which is banned in a whole bunch of states, and no, this has nothing to do with Donald Trump and Xi Jinping's trade wars. There's around 20 states where owning a Chow Chow has been banned or restricted for a long time. These big teddy bear dogs are known to be very willful and can sometimes get a little unfriendly if they are poorly trained. Aggression can sometimes be the result of this, but it doesn't really take too much to make sure that your chow chow is well-mannered 
and disciplined. They are also hunters by instinct, which is probably bad news for the local cat and rat population, but with early and frequent socialization, Chow Chows will get over their hyper-protective nature and be happy to have friends over to visit. Dating back to northern China, perhaps as long as 3,000 years ago, this is a truly ancient breed that was once used as a war dog. Some people have noted that the Chow Chow looks like a lion, and they also have a somewhat cat-like personality, so maybe there's some truth in this comparison. Number 4. Wolf Dog there is plenty of controversy surrounding the ownership of wolf dog mixed breeds. They are banned in cities across at least half of the United States and have been implicated as the mixed dog type, most often involved with human deaths in one study. You really need to work hard to make sure the dog half is switched on fully in these animals because you do not want that wolf side to take over. Actress Kristen Stewart grew up in a family with four wolf dogs, and a neighbor filed a lawsuit against Stewart's mother claiming the family were keeping wolves before proof was produced that they were wolf dogs, not wolves. Stewart also had to file a restraining order against the woman who was harassing her about the dogs, and in Stewart, they have one big celebrity supporter at least. These are no doubt challenging dogs, and not for the beginners, but they can be incredible companions with that little touch of the wild about them. Number 3. Cain Corso the Italian Mastiff, or Cane Corso, has suffered widespread bans and will get you in trouble in Arkansas, Colorado, Idaho, Kansas, Nebraska, Oregon, South Dakota, and Washington. Wait a minute, no Michigan? All right, the folks of Michigan, here's the dog for you at last. These are big dogs like all Mastiffs, and make brilliant guard dogs when they are properly trained for the job. They might not be a good fit if you have young children, and one expert on the breed said, they have a strong hunting drive and are very territorial. They have even been known to kill cats and small dogs, so having a solid fenced-in area with at least a six-foot high fence is a must if you don't want the neighbor's pets becoming his prey. Like the Rottweiler, they are descended from the Molozoid dogs, which the ancient Romans used, and they share some characteristics with Rottweilers, although they are a little tougher to handle than their popular cousins. But only because Rottweilers are such easy dogs to be around, the breed dates back to the 12th century, and they are considered the best guard and protection dogs in the world. And they have a fierce bite force, the second strongest of all the dogs. Proper training will make this a fantastic family dog that will go to any lengths imaginable to protect you and your family. Number 2. Prisa Canario The Prisa Canario is a pretty rare dog, so it's surprising that it is banned and blacklisted by insurance companies in around half the states of the US. These dogs originate in the Canary Islands, a part of Spain. They have thick and muscular bodies and were used for protection of livestock, at least as far back as 1501, when the first records of the breed were made. Aside from being cattle dogs, they were also used on the islands for dogfighting, so they are pretty tough. <laughs> In the 1940s, the Franco-led government of Spain began a crackdown on dogfighting and strict laws prohibiting it were passed, which led to a decline in the numbers of Prisas being bred. One isolated incident of two Prisas attacking and killing a woman in the United States led to a media frenzy about the breed, and quickly legislation was enacted to ban it, before it had even really taken off in the US as a popular kind of dog. In the case, a young lacrosse player was attacked and killed in her own apartment building in San Francisco by Prisa Canarios, who were being cared for by a married couple of attorneys whose clients were serving three life sentences due to being a high-ranking man member of the Aryan Brotherhood. Not the nicest guy. The female attorney was unusually charged with murder in the case, implying she let the dogs, who were being illegally trained for fighting, on the victim. Which means that the dogs were not to blame, but the irresponsible and dangerous people in charge of the dog. 
Number 1. German Shepherd The German Shepherd is maybe the dog that most represents the phrase we started in this video, man's best friend. These famous and popular dogs have been at our sides in almost every scenario imaginable. They are almost unparalleled in their versatility, being guard dogs, police dogs, war dogs, family dogs, and stars of TV shows. That's right, a bunch of sour-faced bureaucrats in Georgia, Iowa, Kansas, Louisiana, Michigan, Mississippi, New Mexico, Ohio, and Tennessee banned Rin Tin Tin. The German Shepherd was originally, as the name suggests, a herding and protecting dog for sheep, but the huge efforts of the breeding community across many generations have refined this dog into one that is world famous for its lovable personality, loyalty, courage, strength, friendliness, and all-around super dogness. They are large dogs, but even when improperly trained, they are not especially more prone to aggression than any other breed. If German Shepherds are wrong, then I don't want to be right. What was your favorite dog on our list today? Any of you from Michigan wish there weren't so many restrictions on dog ownership? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.